Hi everyone, as promised, here's my second Meiden art supply review. And this time I'll be focusing more on the watercolor set as well as the watercolor paper. So it's a set of 24 colors and they come with the pigment information, the light fastness and the opacity information both on the box and on the tubes. Most of the colors show that they are pretty light fast, but because of their rating on their gouache box some of the pigments make me doubt the accuracy of the light fastness so i would take it with a grain of salt as a reminder maiden said that they are student grade pigments so student grade watercolors and they are non-toxic and environmentally friendly for this painting i'm using the maiden watercolor paper which is 140 pounds and 100 percent cotton it comes in the form of a block, which is really nice. It is glued on four sides, but there is one little area that is not glued and you can use that to uh, insert a palette knife, for instance, to help detach the paper once your painting is done. So the fact that the paper is glued on four sides is really nice because you do not have to use tape to tape your paper down and uh, it's not really going to buckle. I haven't had um, much problem with buckling and I did put a lot of water on my paper. When it did buckle, I used a hair dryer and then it, it went straight back to um, a nice flat surface. For my first layer, I did a wet on wet technique. I applied some water on the glass and while the paper was still wet, then I applied all the pigments so that they would be nicely and softly blended. I didn't find that the pigments really spread a lot on the wet paper, which can be a disadvantage if you like uh, when your, your paint really spreads all over the page on the, on the wet page. Uh, but it's, it's also an advantage for those who like to paint with more details because if the paint doesn't spread as much, it means you can control it better. So while the paper stayed wet for quite a while, I was able to control the paint pretty well. So those watercolors seem pretty pigmented when I did the swatches. I found that they were nice and bright. Some of them were not as much as others, but for the most part, they were pretty nice. However, when I started painting, I realized that I had to add uh, layers upon layers to make sure that I had really bright colors on my painting. So I don't know if it's a matter of paper or the paint. So my guess is that the paper really absorbs the, the paint a lot and so as it dries it gets lighter and lighter which is a common thing with watercolors in general but I think with this particular paper um, I think that's the reason why I had to add lots of layers to, to have really bright colors.
For my background, I also did a wet on wet technique and as you can see, it didn't spread very much. It spread enough that I, I liked it. And I made sure that I used enough paint to have a nice bright color without having to add another layer to it. I just added less water in my mix this time. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but before I painted the background, I used a scrubber brush to lift some paint and add a few highlights on the glass and the lemons. That's a technique that I like to use with watercolors. And it also shows if the paper is sturdy enough. I must say that with the meat and paper, I didn't have any problems with scrubbing. It didn't damage the paper at all. And I also didn't have any problems using lots of layers. The paper didn't peel. Uh, it worked really nicely. So was, once I was done and the paint was all dry, the paper was all dry, I used that little plastic leaf that Meaden sent me to detach the paper. It worked very well, but again, you can also use a palette knife and it'll work just as well. So all in all, those products aren't bad. They are, again, student grade. The paper is set to be academic level, so maybe a little bit above student grade and it's uh, manufactured by the Bao Hong company which makes a uh, professional paper. It's a cotton paper so to me it's uh, it's always a plus. I will take this anytime before a cellulose paper. Would it be my go-to paper? Probably not. There are other brands like Arsh uh, that would probably go to first but Arsh is very expensive and it's professional quality so not everybody can afford that. This is a great alternative. Just a quick word about the brushes. I really like them. They're very pretty and they, they aren't very thirsty, which I like. I have a hard time uh, using brushes that hold a lot of water. It doesn't work very well with my, with my technique. Uh, not that they're bad, it's just not for me. So these were great. They didn't uh, lose any bristles. Uh, they were great. So thank you again, Meaden, for sending me all those lovely art supplies. And thank you everyone for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.